To make sure my film Dust and Scratches is quite unique, I've gone on here to the Internet Archive and sourced an old film. Uh, what I'm looking for is parts that have uh, just black sections in it, just blank sections basically that, um, that I can get the grain from and the noise from. So I've downloaded the, the file, chuck it over into After Effects. And that's brought it in as a new comp. I will, I know there's a couple of sections here where it goes blank. There's one there and there's one at the end here. So I'll just scroll along here to the end. Where was it? Here it is. Let's see how much we can get. Okay, so press B, put my in point. And scroll along and I'm going to press N for my endpoint. Right click in that area there, trim comp to work area. Now I go Control or Command K to bring up my comp settings. I'm just going to call this Film Dust. I'm going to set my comp to be 512 by 512. Leave it at that frame and just reset that back to zero. And now let's Let's just round that down to four seconds. Let's just have a look at what we've got. Great, turn that audio off, we don't need that. Now, there is a um, watermark in the footage which is a bit annoying. So I'm just gonna scale this up, but the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna come over here to the effects and presets, search for scale. And I am looking for detail preserving upscale. It will just instead of just stretching it, it will actually try and preserve some of these details. Now, because it's black, I'm just gonna uh, search along and find a frame where we can actually see a bit more. There was one. Yeah, that one will do. And just scale it up a bit. And now you also do need to just move down. I'm just gonna crop that watermark out. There we go, that looks pretty good. Let's have a look at that. Uh, it will slow down the preview a little bit because it's uh, got an effect on it now. Let's just have a look at that. Great, that's exactly what I'm after. Last thing I'm gonna do is click on my layer, go to over my effects, go to levels. I wanna crank the blacks and the whites a bit blacks up and then the whites just crunch a little bit but you can start to see a little bit of the artifacting coming back in that looks pretty good now this is uh, white on black but I want to drop the black out the way I'm going to do that go to my project I will duplicate my layer and then that bottom layer over here, the track mat, if you don't have it, you can um, toggle the switches and modes there to bring it up. I'm gonna choose Luma Mat, and then if I turn my alpha on there to have a look at it, you can't see very much, but it's basically dropped all that black out, which is what I'm after. So that now has an alpha channel in it that I can render it out at. So that is ready to go. Just go composition, add to render queue, Let's go with best settings. I've got a preset in here for PNG, but I will bring up the settings and show those. So PNG sequence, RGB plus alpha. I'll leave it at 512, we'll okay that. Let's just call that film, uh, dust will do. Let's put it in a subfolder, dust, save that out. Render, as that's rendering, I'll jump over into Spark, new project. And then add asset, animation sequence, film dust. Up here under texture, choose new image texture. Select all, open. It will bring those files in. It will take just a little minute to come in. There it is, I'll just expand my dude so you can see him. Now 96 frames, okay, so add object, 
rectangle insert fill width fill height new material grab the material and now we want to add that film dust animation sequence to there and there we have it and very quickly and simply add film noise dust and grain to your spark filters